Hi, this is a quick video about bow holes. Um, some of you might have noticed that I have a rubber band on the frog of my bow. Um, kind of affectionately call that a seatbelt, um, but I'm gonna go through a couple of things with the bow hold uh, right away. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we have a good bunny rabbit. So we've got ears sticking up, teeth are out in front, and the thumb is underneath. So what we're gonna try and do is put our thumb right here, this is a target, I'm going to cross those lines and right in the middle between the middle finger and the ring finger. So if we keep everything curved from the side, you should be able to look through. And that is our bunny rabbit. I'm going to hold my bow straight up and down like this. And I'm going to show, um, if you have the balance point marked with the, a line, it could be red or gold or black. I'm going to take my bunny rabbit, I'm going to turn it sideways, and then I'm going to open and put those lines right there and my thumb on the other side drop my pointer finger and have my pinky on top. So it should look like this if you're holding it at the balance point. This will let you be relaxed and everything feels nice and balanced. That's the center of gravity for the, the bow. Um, and my pinky's on top if I'm a violin or viola. If I'm playing cello or bass, it's the same concept, but my fingers are, or my pinky is on the side. Notice I have a little bit of space in between each one. Okay, so again, take my bunny rabbit, turn it sideways, Open up his mouth, put the bow on the lines, thumb, drop my finger, and my pinky. From here, uh, I'm gonna slide my hand down to the frog. So my pinky is still sitting on top, if I'm a violin or a viola, and my knuckles are sitting. Um, one of the important things to look for is that my knuckles are leaning on an angle. They don't sit straight up and down. Cellos and basses, since your pinky's on the side, your fingers are straight up and down. But violins and violas, they're going to lean sideways. And so the last thing is, once you get this set, or you can do this first, um, this piece of rubber band that goes across. I'm gonna pull that out, and I'm gonna put my ring finger in it, so it looks like that. If you want, you can put it over both of your two middle fingers, and notice that my thumb is still bent and sits right here in front of the frog. My finger is curved and my knuckles are relaxed. From here I can practice flexing and keeping my pinky on top. All right, good luck. That is a basic bow hold uh, with the seatbelts.